Welcome back, Keller Williams. I'm Kyle Olson with Keller Williams here in Fargo. Wanted to give you a quick technology tip as we set up a signature. So I've been playing with this a few. You'll see them in here in my commands designs. That's going to be the one over here on the left hand side. It looks like a piece of paper with a pen on it. We're going to be in designs. We're going to make an email signature and then we're going to show you how to attach that to your email and make it clickable to download your app. So we're going to hit the plus button over here. We're going to click social and hit next. So let's take us over into the designs portion of command. Now it does take a few seconds to load. Sometimes we do have to re-log in, um, but we'll get in there in just a second here. All right, here we are. And we're going to look over at our um, business basics. Let me move this stuff around a little bit. I mean, we're going to do email signature. Let's go ahead and pick whichever one you like. I'm going to do the white one today. I'm going to click the edit button on that and we're going to update this with our information. Now if you've set up your brand kit for the d designs here, a lot of the stuff is going to be just copy and paste or replace um, buttons for you. If you need to update that stuff, it's very easy and quick to do. So we are going to be in here. We're going to switch out this picture. Of course, that's not mine. I want to put mine in there. So we're going to put it in. I think this one's going to look really nice here. I'm going to swap that one in. Fantastic. We're going to update some of the contact information. Now you might have that in your saved text over here, um, or you might just want to go in and type it again. Um, you might want to fix this question mark. I don't like that one. They have their own little typo. Um, if you're clicking on this and it's hard to get where you want to go, great little tip is to hit the little typewriter up here. That's going to make it and open it up to where it's just easy text for you to edit. And we can go ahead and put in our information. Mine's 701-526. 8596. If you ever have a question, feel free to reach out. And then we're going to have office as well. It's going to be 701 352 9691. I'm sorry, not 9691, 5000. Got the wrong number. All right, so we're going to save those changes. That's going to update that. Uh, we're going to put an actual another F in there so we don't have a typo. Jeez, we don't want that on our stuff, right? All right. We'll save those changes and I'll get, save you from having to watch me do all the rest of these changes here. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to make a few more changes that you will want to know how to do. One is going to be changing out this DBA logo. Of course, we don't work as DBA. We need to change it to our own brand. Simply, we're going to go in and we're going to click the DBA logo. Once we have it selected, we're going to go over here to our logos. And we're going to swap in our logo to put it and replace that one with. Here we go, we have our logo in there. And we're gonna drag it up so it fits nicely. All right, so once we've connected everything else, the other thing that's great is if you wanna add a little personality, we can go over into the text and we can hit the banners in here. And there are some fantastic banners that are in here that you can change that work good for you. So if you want to do something and we wanna add on here, maybe a uh, click here to download our app, we could certainly take this and we could move the app thing from there and put our address underneath it. Click here. Now well, it's being slow to, do, to add here for some reason. Um, not sure why it's having problems downloading, but it should. We'll explode the sticker as one other option and then you can go and you can really dive into that sticker and see why it's not putting your text in there. Um, but whatever works for you, these are the ways where you could do those and you could grab something else. I mean, if you want to do something larger about whatever and you want to change it, feel free to set this up however you want, get your information and look perfect in there. But have some sort of call to action in here that's going to tell them to click this to download your app. Because we're going to make this clickable and we're going to link it to our app. So hopefully you have your app location or if you've got a domain, my suggestion is to set up what's called a forward. And you can forward a subdomain of that. So you can call like app.kyleolsonrealtor.com. It's going to forward to my app. So we're going to do that. All right. So once we've got all this stuff in filled out, we're going to hit the download button. We're going to download that. And a, JP or a PNG is going to be actually smaller. So it's going to be quicker for those people to download. All right. So we're going to hit click start download. And that's going to create the best quality image that we can use. And we're going to go over to our emails. And we're going to apply that to our email contacts. All right, don't worry about this email account. It's one of my other ones, but we're going to hit the configure inbox. I'm sorry, not configure inbox. We're going to hit the settings. Once we're inside of our settings, we're going to change our 
signature and we can do this on our phones as well on every piece of email out, out that we have going out that will make sure everything looks the same. We're going to simply come in, we're going to select what we have from our other one and we're going to hit delete. And we're going to insert this image simply by pressing the picture button up here, insert image. We're going to upload that image, drag it from down here. Sorry, dragging myself, not the, uh, let me back down in the corner here. All right, look at that. We've got a beautiful little signature line down there. Uh, this is just a GIF with the best wishes. Put whatever you want in there, you know, make this look nice and neat. we got that call to action. Let's get the, into the stars. Let's do whatever. Make that call to action. Make it clickable. Now we're going to make this clickable simply by selecting it. So the trick is you have to get it selected. You sometimes have to get a little piece on top of it. And you'll get it selected. Now you can click up on the link up here. We're going to link this whole thing. We don't need to put any text in it, but we want to link it to app.kyleolsonrealtor.com. All right. So if we test that link and you'll want to make sure that you type it correctly, that's going to go over to our app so they can download it directly from there. And we're going to hit OK. And now it changed out our picture. I apologize. What did we do wrong here. Let's go through it one more time and we'll see what we missed. I delete out everything that was here. All right, we're going to insert that picture one more time. Trust me, this did work yesterday. So now that we've uploaded it, it should be in our My Drive. There it is. All right, we're going to select that one right there. And then we're going to make sure that it is selected. Whoops. I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. Magic of editing. If I take the time, I can certainly get rid of that in the video, but we're all humans. We all make mistakes. We all hit the wrong buttons once in a while, right? All right. So now we have it selected. We have it there. We're going to select from the top to it. We're going to even add what are my customers saying into this. We're going to make that whole thing linkable here. We're going to go to app.kylesonrealtor.com click OK now it should all be linked there you'll see as you click on it it shows your image you can change the size of it if you want it to be a smaller image or a medium image depending on or your original size how you want it to show up I usually leave it as large that's going to show up pretty nicely in their emails and it's going to show your link right there so now we've got that linked in there Go to the bottom, we're going to hit those save changes, and that's going to update our Gmail bottom email link as well as linkable to our app. So, hope that was a fun way to, for you to get a little bit of branding out of command, get playing in the designs piece. And if there's anything I can do to help you, feel free to reach out. Again, I'm Kyle Olson with Keller Williams and an agent and technology trainer.